Dear students, you are welcome in our online English for Starters lessons for 5th grade presented to you by ELAC Private School. In this lesson, we are going to talk about the past continuous tense. And to explain the past continuous tense, let's make a quick revision of the present continuous tense that you are already familiar with. If you remember with me, the present continuous tense is the tense that talks about actions that are still going on and not finished yet. These actions take a certain duration at a certain time till they are done. For example, we are studying now. We, the subject, are is verb be. Studying is the verb with ing. This is how we usually form it. Now, we will move to the past continuous tense. The past continuous tense is the tense that talks about actions that happened in the past and lasted for a certain duration till they were done. For example, we were studying. This example is the same like the previous one, but in the past tense. In that case, we said, we are studying now. In this case, as you notice with me, we will say, we were studying. We, the subject, were is verb be, but in the past tense, and studying is the verb plus ing. Another example, I was reading a book. She was helping her mom. Now what I want you to pay attention to is that the verb be will take two shapes or two forms. With I, he, she and it, we will use it as was. I was, he was, she was, it was. But with you, we, and they, we will use it like where. We will say you were, we were, they were. Now, let's take some examples. What were you doing yesterday evening? Notice how we are going to use it. My brother was washing the car. My friends, notice with me, my friends were playing basketball. I was watching a movie. My dad was working on his computer. My mom was cooking dinner. So you notice how the verb be will vary in the way we use it between was and where. And now my friends, it's your turn. Can you try now? Now you are going to read these examples, try to do them all by yourselves and then check your answers. I doing my homework. They living in London. She drawing a picture. We helping our mom. What I want you to do now is to look at these sentences and pay attention to the subject. Then use the verb be in the correct form. Take a minute, think about it, and then check your answers. Now I'm going to show you the answers and you will tell me. Notice, I was doing my homework. They were living in London. She was drawing a picture. We were helping our mom.
Now we will move to the negative case. How do you think we will make the negative? Look at these sentences. We were playing tennis. We weren't playing tennis. She was studying. She wasn't studying. What do you see with me? All we do is that we will add the negation to the verb be. Where, weren't, was, wasn't. So, we just add the negation to the verb be, which is was and where in our case. Where, weren't, was, wasn't. And now, it's your turn. Look at these two examples. Tom was drinking coffee. They were sleeping all the time. Can you do them? Think about them. Tom wasn't drinking coffee. Maybe he was drinking juice. You see, was, wasn't. They were sleeping all the time. They weren't sleeping all the time. They were studying. Now, let's move to making questions. To make questions, I have two steps. You are going to do the following. First, you are going to switch the subject and verb be in the sentence. Notice this example. He was playing. Was he playing? So far, we just switched. He was, was he? The second step is to add the suitable WH word at the beginning of the sentence. Like in our example, what was he playing? you notice what was he playing now it's your turn they were doing homework how do you form the question out of this sentence think about it What were they doing? Do you see with me? She was going to school. Where was she going to? You notice? We switched, then we added. They were, were they? She was, was she? And then we added the WH word at the beginning. What were they doing? Where was she going to? Thank you for watching, all your friends. Don't forget to wash your hands every now and then and eat healthy food.